What's up beautiful people? My name is Crystal and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Crystal and I do fashion and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. If you're new to this channel or if you are a returning subscriber, hello, what's up? Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on a new video. For today's video, I'm showing you guys a collective winter haul. These are items that I've been picking up for the past four to five months and I decided why not sit down and show you guys all the items that I got and where I've been getting them. Before we get into this video, if you're not following me on my Instagram or TikTok, I will leave my handles on the screen as well as in the description box down below. I post a ton of outfit of the days, fashion tips, styling tips, lifestyle updates, all that jazz. So if you're interested in that, definitely follow me for more. And without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, since I have a lot of items and a lot of things to show you and I don't want this video to be a billion minutes long, I'm gonna organize them by store or by by retailer um, but first I'm just going to get into the accessories portion since they're kind of mixed up and they're not all from one place so we're gonna start with bags I picked up five bags this fall and winter that I've been wearing repeatedly or non-stop so the first one just looks like this this is from TJ Maxx what really attracted me was the gold chain and it doesn't feel like cheaper plasticky. Um, it looks really good. I love the ruching um, on the front of it. I feel like it gives it texture. The next bag that I got is this blue one. It's this crocodile print and it's in this cobalt blue color. I really, really like it for the price, which was like $15. It's really, really good quality. You know, just a simple short of bag. I love that it adds a pop of color to my wardrobe. I've been loving styling this shade of blue as well. The next bag that I have is is a dupe for the I believe the small Balenciaga bag but it just looks like this I got it this from Shein it came with an attachable strap but the strap looked a little bit cheap looking so I just tucked it inside I really like that you can wear it both ways I love again this has the crocodile print it looks really really good for the price um, which was really cheap the quality is not that bad so you can't go wrong with it I've been wanting a nice plain brown bag and I love this shade of brown I also like the buckle details on the sides it's really small but not too small just the perfect size to fit my phone my wallet my keys even my camera the last bag that I got is also a dupe for a pretty expensive bag it just looks like this it's this white woven detail color I don't know if you can see it I love the texture of this um, for the price this was really really cheap I would say the quality is not that bad but again you get what you pay for this was from Shein and it was like like under $15. I know um, Amazon does a pretty, um, another affordable dupe of this expensive bag and it's a little bit bigger, um, but I just love it for a trend. This was definitely a trendier piece. Moving on to shoes slash boots. I've gotten a lot of boots. I always go crazy for boots during this season. Starting with these boots, I got these lime green crocodile print boots from misguided i got these during their black friday sale when they were half off um so these are like under 40 dollars. i want to say like 30 dollars, around 30 dollars, 35 dollars. so they're not that bad um had they been full price i probably wouldn't have gotten them but i really love this i love that the green trend has been everywhere specifically lime green and then kelly green and i've been loving styling this with an all black outfit i feel like they're the perfect winter green Green. they go with everything the heel for a stiletto heel is very comfortable I'm someone who normally gravitates toward a chunkier boot just because they're more comfortable if you're gonna be walking long distances but I've worn these all day to church and they're very very comfortable and didn't hurt my feet at all the next pair of tall boots are also from misguided they just look like this they're in this true brown color I love this shade of brown again this has a heel on it but it's a chunkier heel so definitely very comfortable for walking long distances it just comes up to below my knee 
I love the length of these. I love how they fit. I love how they look. I love the crocodile print on boots. I think they add a really, really nice texture versus just a plain um, stark collar. All right, y'all. So the next pair of boots I got are from Guess. I've been looking for the perfect pair of snake print boots to wear this fall and winter, and I finally found them. I got these way back in September, so I don't know if they're still in stock, but I'll try to link similar ones down below. They just look like this. They're in this black, gray, and like cream shade. I love the heel on them. Again, these are chunky heels, so they're gonna be very comfortable, and they are really comfortable. I've worn these out all day, and they didn't hurt my feet at all. I love also the curved hem at the tip. It um, kind of speaks to that Western trend that's been in, and I've been talking about that lately. I got these in this cream color, and then this light brown cognac. I loved that these are, again, a high shaft boot, like the sock booty, so they go higher on the ankle. They are slimming. And last but not least, for these shoes, I just got a pair of Doc Martens. So these shoes I've been saving up a while for. I love Doc Martens. I've been wearing, I've been buying a lot of dupes and knockoffs and I just told myself, you know what? Those dupes and knockoffs, as good as they weren't, weren't lasting. And I was like, well, as much as money am I putting in buying a knockoff, why don't I just save and buy the real thing, which I know will last me a lot, lot longer. These are specifically the Jaden um, kind. I love them. I've already worn them so much. All right, so the first batch of items are from Pretty Little Thing. So the first item is actually a two-piece set. It just looks like this. It's in this hunter green color it's faux leather I love the way this looks I've styled this already on my Instagram and in previous lookbooks that I've posted it's this boyfriend style blazer just goes down it's long a little bit long lined it's oversized I love the way these look the pockets are real which is really important I just love the way this looks on my skin tone and I think this is the perfect winter green to be styling next item I got is also a two-piece set it's this gray pinstriped blazer again there's a boyfriend blazer and then the same matching in the bottoms was just this gray pinstripe trouser. They're very comfortable. I got these from seeing Adrienne Houghton post a pic on Instagram and I love the way she styled them. She was wearing this exact two piece set and I instantly hunted all over the internet to find them and I was so delighted to find that Pretty Little Thing had the exact same pair. This was also pretty affordable. Again, love that you could wear them separate together. I've been styling this all also everywhere on my Instagram and on YouTube. The next thing I got from Pretty Little Thing is just this cream long super oversized jacket. So I actually got this in the maternity section because I really wanted an oversized but not too oversized jacket that I can wear as a dress. Um, and I didn't want something that was too, too, too thick, but just thick enough. This is in this light wool-like material. It's not itchy or scratchy on the skin, which is really good. I find that with some wool, um, they can be like a little irritated on this, irritative on the skin, but this is not that at all. I got this in a size, honestly, a US 10, and I could have gone down to a US 8. The next thing that I got from Pretty Little Thing is just this brown sweater bodysuit. Just goes like this. It is a cheeky style bottom. Um, so not thong, but still, still good. I got this in a size medium and I love it. I could have gone down to a size small. It's super stretchy, really, really soft. I've been loving brown for fall and winter and I felt like this was a really good staple. Moving on to some bottoms. The first bottom I got is actually a pair of leather shorts. I love these. I've been looking everywhere for a really good pair of leather shorts and these are like a Bermuda style leather short. I have been loving styling these with tights, with boots, with a sweater. I just love how it just kind of 
gives a nice break to an all monochrome outfit. I feel like wearing shorts in winter is definitely a move. I don't know about you. It's really, really cute and people should be doing it more often in my opinion. But yes, I love them. I love that they're, they sit perfectly at my waist. These are high waisted and are very comfortable. The next pair of trousers I got just look like this. It's in this burgundy brown color, although it's reading more burgundy on screen. This, I got this in a size US 4. It fits perfectly. It has a slight flare hem at the bottom. I love the middle pleat, um, which is really, really good um, for my body type. I have a smaller waist, but wider hips and like thicker thighs, so I love the middle pleat. So moving on to some thrifted finds, I scored so big this fall and winter season. I've been picking up a lot of essentials from my local thrift stores, and these pieces are really, really good quality, and I wear them constantly, so I cannot wait to show you what I found. The first piece that I got is this hunter green blazer again if y'all can tell i love blazers and i also love hunter green just looks like this i got this for 4.99 4.99 for this really good men's blazer it's in this really thick material so you know it's not cheaply made the pockets are real i just love the way it goes out and it has this very boxy men's wear fit the next blazer I got is exactly the same as the last one. It's just in this brown color. I love the way this blazer fits. I love the color of it. I've been loving brown. It's just really, really, really been a staple in my wardrobe. The next piece that I got is this flannel shirt slash dress. I got this a while ago. I got this in a size 2XL. It's in this really thick flannel material. It is um, that wooly flannel material. Again, this is also from the men's section. It is a little itchy when I first started wearing it, but when I washed it and the more I started wearing it even more, um, the itchiness kind of went away. All right, the next item I got is surprise, another blazer. This is in this cream color. This is really, really extra long. It's in this, uh, what is it? Like a size 2XL or something. Again, these, all these blazers I get are all from the men's section. I go to the men's section to get my blazers and you should too um again this was five dollars couldn't go wrong with it i love that it's in this like creamy this rich creamy color all right everyone so the next batch of items are from shein so the next two pieces are coats i have been going crazy for coats i've been trying to find the perfect long wool coat that's going to keep me warm but also is very stylish so i got this one in a brown color um, it's like a true chocolate brown. It's in this wool style. It's really, really long and oversized. It has that like droopy shoulder menswear look. It looks kind of, it gives me this vintage feel, like this vintage 19, um, 20s, 30s feel that I really, really love. I got this in a size large. This next coat that I pick has to be one of my favorites that I picked up. It's in this gray color. I love this because it reminds me of a trench coat but in a wool style coat. It just looks like this. It goes down also like floor length so if you're shorter this is gonna go all the way to the floor. I'm 5'6 and this goes to like my calves. All right next up I just picked up a few puffer pieces from Shein. I just picked up these two puffer style coats. One is in beige, one is in black. They're both the same style, same cropped length. I've been loving styling these puffers. I love that they give this just the right amount of warmth in them. If I were to go again, I definitely want to buy or get a more oversized, longer style puffer. But I've just been loving wearing these with sweats, with leggings. They're definitely really, really comfortable when you don't want a long, like thicker, heavier coat. Next, I just picked up a few puffer vests. I just picked up this one in cream and then this one in chocolate. Again, these are all cropped. I love the way these look. These were like $15 each, so they're definitely affordable and the quality is not bad. Again, you get what you pay for. Um, the brown one has this cinching material. So they're for the quality and for the price, 
I would definitely recommend them. But yeah, I got these each in a size medium. If I were to get them again, I would have gone a size up to a large just to give me a little bit more wiggle room. The next two pieces I got are sweatpants. So I've been looking for more sweatpants because I wear sweatpants a lot in the fall and winter, especially because I am in school right now and I am in rehearsals. So a lot of time I have to dress comfortable or in movement clothes. So I've been really looking for some nice sweats and Shein has some really, really nice ones. These I believe are in their basics line. I got this gray one in a tall. So Shein also has a tall section, which I love in a size small. The more of a tighter fitting jogger slash sweatpant, but they're still really, really comfortable. Again, they just look like this. They go down, they taper at the ankle. Really, really flattering. If you're looking for a more um, fitted jogger or fitted sweatpant, I would definitely recommend this. All right, you guys, so the last piece that I got from Shein is this two-piece sweat set. Just looks like this. It just says Los Angeles on the front. Again, it's in this chocolate brown color. Love it. Um, I got this, this whole set I believe was $20, so not bad. I love this sweatshirt. I got it in a size medium. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this is they came, um, they came sold together. So if anything, I would love them to be sell, like sold separately. I lied. I forgot two more pieces that I have to share with you from Shein. They are just these black and brown turtleneck dresses. The brown one has some drawstring detail and then this one is just a plain black turtleneck dress. I've been wanting a plain black turtleneck dress for a while and I'm surprised I didn't have one in my wardrobe already. But these are really, really affordable. You can't go wrong with them. They were under $15. They're a little bit thin, so I will say that again, you get what you pay for. Um, but if you're looking for just a simple black or a brown long sleeve turtleneck dress, for the winter and fall time, I would definitely recommend these. I got them both in a size small and they fit really, really true to size. All right, everybody, so moving on to skims. I just picked up two pieces recently. I picked up some more pieces, but I don't wanna go into too much detail because I'm thinking of doing a separate video just on how I style my skims basic pieces. But these are from the Fits Everybody collection and they're the turtleneck tops. I have been loving styling these. I can't say enough good things about them. I got them both in a size US small and they fit true to size. They're extremely stretchy and soft and just smooth and they feel like butter on your skin. They're perfect for layering. They keep me warm. I've been wearing these under sweatshirts, under sweaters, under blazers, under coats. They're just a really, really good layering piece. And I just love the way they look on the skin. I love a turtleneck. Y'all know I could wear a turtleneck every single day and be extremely happy about it. Moving on to Amber Crombie and Fitch. Amber Crombie and Fitch has definitely been stepping up their game this fall and winter season. I have been loving their pieces lately, so I cannot wait to show you what I got. So the first piece I got is actually very recently. I got this in the mail just last week, and it is just this black and cream faux leather puffer style cropped coat. It is extremely thick and extremely warm. It's really good quality. This retails for around 129, but I got it for 50% off on their after Christmas sale. So I love this. I read the reviews and it said to go a size down because this is naturally very oversized. So I'm so glad I did. because I normally like to get any jackets or thicker coats in a size medium or large just to account for room for layering. But I got this in a size small and it fits really, really nice. And I've worn this over top of thicker sweaters and I still have room to move my arms I don't it doesn't feel constricted at all the rest of the items for Amber Crombie and Fitch are bottoms so the first piece I got is the Aritzia Molina pant dupe and it's just the Amber Crombie and Fitch ultra high rise um straight leg faux leather pant these are a vegan faux leather which I love I got these in a size 27 which is a size US for long again I love that Amber Crombie and Fitch has petite regular and long sizings. It's just really, really equitable and just nice for someone like me who has longer legs. If you're looking for something more 
a little bit more affordable than the Molina pan, I would definitely recommend these. The leather is a little bit on the thinner side. I know the Molina pan is a little bit thicker. So if you're looking for something thicker, I would say maybe, you know, don't get these, uh, but they still keep your leg warm. The material is still really high quality. This pair is the 90s relaxed fit high rise jean. Again, it's a cross between a straight leg and a baggy. So it's not as baggy, but not as straight. Definitely of a looser fit. It fits really, really nice at the waist and at the bum area. Very, very flattering. And then they flare out. These jeans have two rips at the knee. I'm normally someone who doesn't really go for a knee rip, but they're, I feel like they're tastefully done. And like rips at the knees are the only way I would go for a rip denim or rip pair denim, if that makes sense. But they're super, super flattering. I love these. These are also a little bit longer um but they just hit at a weird length on my ankle slash foot so i just trimmed like an inch off of them so they can hit like a little bit above my ankle slash right at my ankle all right everyone so the last clothing item that i have to show you is from the store ardell and they just look like this love these again these are in a true light wash feel they're showing up a little bit darker on camera but they're much more lighter in person. I got these in a size US 3, which is equivalent to a 26, I believe. Love the way these fit. This is a true baggy fit or baggy denim and they're high rise. So they are definitely fitted at the waist, a little bit more looser at the hips and like literally just loose in the leg area. They have, you know, they don't taper at all. Again, I did cut like a half an inch off to get the the distressed hemming they were just a straight hem and i liked a distress i like a distressed hem at my bottom for most of my jeans all right everyone that is everything thank you for watching this video definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know which item was your favorite um also check the description box for product links to everything in this video a lot of these items i did pick up like a few months ago so a lot of them might not be in stock but i'll try to link as much as i can and if i can't find the exact item i will definitely link a similar if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss out on a single new video i will catch you guys in my next one Mwah. bye oh you know you know you're beautiful you know you're beautiful and it's like